Hi everyone, this is Tamil Chalvan, Assistant Professor, Department of BBA, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women, Tirichangodu. Today we discuss about the topic Principles of Management. The first one is the definition of management. It is the process of designing and maintaining an environment in which individuals working together in a group efficiently and accomplish selected aims. The next we discuss about roles and importance of management. There are six points are available. The first one is for achievement of group goals. The second one is for optimum utilization of resources. Then minimization of cost, survival and growth, generation of employment, development of the nation. Then next we discuss about functions of management. There are five functions of management are available. The first one is for planning, second one is for organizing, third one is for staffing, fourth one is for directing, fifth one is for controlling. Let us discuss detailed in planning. Here the planning, the, it is the first and foremost functions of management. It means deciding in advance what to do, when to do, how to do and who is to do. Then next we discuss about organizing. It refers to distribution of work in a group wise or section wise for effective performance. Then next we discuss about staffing. It means placement of right person for the right job. And also we have to give proper training to the people. Then next we discuss about coordination. Sorry, directing. It means direct the peoples to in a correct way. Then next one is for controlling. The last but not the least is for controlling. It means control all over the activities, both men, materials, etc. Then next we discuss about 14 principles of management. The first one is for division of work. Second one is for authority and responsibility. Third one is for discipline. Fourth one is for unity of command, unity of direction, interest, remuneration, centralization, scalar chain, order, equity, stability of tenure, in a initiative, expert decor. Then next we discuss about management talks. Here, F.W. Taylor is the father of scientific management. He was born in 1856. He has a wide range of experience in three company. He found there is an inefficiency and a wastage. F.W. Taylor to develop a scientific method to replace the trial and error approach. He conducted several experiments. For example, pick iron handling, etc. Then Taylor has defined a management, the art of knowing exactly what you want when and seeing that they do is the best in a cheapest way. Then we discuss about Henry Foyer in the year 1841 to 1925. He is a French mining engineer and chief executive. He published his famous book Administration Industry at generally in 1916, which was translated into English in 1929. It was published in 1949 as General and Industrial Management. The, big, the book is now available, considered the best classic of the management. Then next we discuss about Mary Parker Pollard, 1868 to 1933. He was a political and social philosopher. At the age of 32, she became a carrier of public service in the Boston area of USA. Her main interest was the psychological foundation of all the human activities. She had become an advisor to businessmen on personal problems. Her major books are New State, New State 1920, Experiment 1924 and Business Management as a Professional in 1927. Then next we discuss about Elton Mayo in the year 1882-1949. He, he was a Professor of Industrial Psychology at the Harvard Business School. He has published several books and papers. For example, Human Problems of Industrial Civilization in the year 1933, Management and Morale in the year 1941, Training and Human Relations 1949. Thank you for watching this video.